Butcher and welcome to the Music For My Practice Hub where we are going to deep dive into a full singing lesson for everything I know from In The Heights, which is grade seven on the ABRSM and Trinity London syllabus. So what are we waiting for? Let's sing. Who am I? I am a classically trained vocal coach who has never been to New York City. I mean, I've, I've traveled to a fair few places, but never New York. And of course I want to go to Broadway. And so yes, I will be saving, saving those pennies to one day go and do the Gossip Girl tour. Yes. Broadway and the Gossip Girl tour. So what we are going to do is we are going to break this song down into the four fundamentals of good singing. And we are first of all going to look at the rhythm. And in looking at the rhythm, we're going to train our bodies, train our breath to really feel that rhythm. It's going to help, we're laying those foundations. Then we're going to move on to the vowel sounds, to the vowel placements, how we can sing the best possible vowel for each word. Then we're going to move on and look at the words. We're going to look at singing in an American accent for those of us that aren't American and that maybe trip up with things like that. We're also going to look at the phrasing. This song is quite challenging because it's very bitty and we don't want it to be too blocky, so I will help you with that. And then finally, the fourth fundamental, the magic dust, we're going to look at that big, belty, boomy bit right at the end, the climax of the song and how we can get the best out of our voices for that climax. So the rhythm is very gentle, very steady, very lilting. It's that driving quaver accompaniment that really keeps it going. But the melody comes in off the beat. It's syncopated. So we'll practice that in a minute. But first of all, just take some breaths in and out to this beat. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Nice one. Right, now let's look at this syncopation and we're going to practice double whammy. We're going to practice what I call snatch breaths, quick breaths for topping up that cushion of air that we should be riding on whenever we are singing. Just taking those short, quick breaths to keep us going through phrases. So to do that, what you do is you pretend that you've seen your long lost bestest friend in the whole world, the other side of the street. And you're like, you know, you take that influx of breath to kind of go, to yell at them from across the street. Go, hi, oh my gosh, I've not seen you for ages. How are you doing? Yeah, you'll be like, everything opens up here. You feel it open up. You feel your throat expand. You feel your chest open this way. Everything opens that way. The diaphragm contracts or retracts actually, because it goes down and then it contracts. I don't know science. I can't remember my GCSE biology. Anyway, we fill our lungs, basically. That's what we're doing. So what we're gonna do is, here's the rhythm again, the, the lilting rhythm. And we're gonna take little breaths off the beat like this. Okay, I will count you in. I will say breathe, and you take that really, really quick breath. Ready? And breathe. 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 Your shoulders should be relaxed. No movement in the shoulders. It's all happening down low in the tummy. Feel your tummy kind of go out every time you take one of those breaths, every time you take one of those snatch breaths. That is you filling your lungs. It's the same sensation after you've run the 100 meters or even the 10 meters or, you know, depending on how fit you are. And you know when you're really, really out of breath and you take those big, huge breaths that really, really fill the fill your lungs completely. You can also get that by blowing out every single drop of air from your lungs, and then you get an influx rushing back in. Same thing, so yes, we are filling our lungs. So that was that lovely, lovely rhythm, and now that we know that, 
We have laid the foundations for the song. Now let's look at vowels and we're going to do a few exercises to get some lovely bright but rich vowel sounds. Okay, so let's do some lovely five note scales. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be alternating between an O oh and an R. Ah, oh, ah, very kind of O, oh, ah. Oh. So feel it at the back of your throat, feel your soft palate lift, sort of as if you're kind of going ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. So is bright, but it's also a little rich too. And we're going to just do, as I say, we're going to do a five note scale, high voices low voices and we're just going to go that is it ready and relax that jaw So my soft palate is really lifted. As we get higher, the vocal cords get thinner and stretched. Just push through that. Remember to lean into your powerhouse, lean into your breathing. Just focus on singing an or and an ah. Because the, when I go higher, I find that this helps. If I do this, it kind of brings the sound further forward and flatter, which helps me sing the high notes. Basically, that might work for you. It might work if you push down. Maybe you don't need to do any kind of physical sign or anything like that. And happy days. That's great if you don't. You don't need to. Just helps for me. And... Obviously, we do want to get some lovely sort of chesty stuff in it, but still keep it light. Okay, so why did we do those ooh ah ooh ah ooh scales when this is a contemporary piece? It's a Lin-Manuel Miranda contemporary piece, and yeah, it doesn't really have any of those vowels. Well, if you think about it, the everything I know bit, and it's the no that you hold the note for, that lovely everything I know. That is a oh. That's what we've just been doing. The ooh ah ooh ah ooh. So don't be 
put off by doing strange warm-up exercises, two strange vowel sounds, because they do have a positive impact on singing. All styles, operatic, contemporary, legit, everything. It's very, very important. And yes, those ooh-ah-ooh-ah-ooh-ahs are going to have set your voice in a lovely place for this song. Okay, so we're going to look at the words and we're going to look at American pronunciation. And to all my American followers, I apologize. Um, yeah, this is just my way of doing an American accent and whatever works for you, you do. In my experience, I've had a lot of students come to me and sing in American accents and the R's especially really trip them up. So that's why, yeah, maybe some of the sounds that I make aren't necessarily a true American accent. But as we know for singing, it's all about manipulation. It's all about manipulating the vowels, manipulating the words sometimes to always create the most beautiful sound, the most comfortable sound for your voice that then translates into the most beautiful sound for your audience. It's all about the audience at the end of the day. In this album, there's, there's a picture. So it's just a subtle, there's a picture, there, there's a picture. In this album, there is a picture of the ladies, of the ladies at Danielle's, you can tell it's from the 80s by the volume of their hair. There's Uznavi, just a baby. 87, Halloween. So what are we doing? We're doing little subtle R's, but being careful not to trip up on them. You're not gonna go, there's a picture. Picture, picture. Of the ladies, ladies, not ladies, ladies at Daniela's. Daniela's just kind of um, channel. Well, I was gonna say watch Gossip Girl. Yeah, Gossip Girl, they've got, they've got New York accents, have they? Kind of, maybe Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, anything set in New York. Ghostbusters? Yeah, watch, watch the films and absorb the accents, but also listen to Mandy Gonzalez and how she sings this song and absorb it that way as well. This is now just a baby, 87 Halloween. If it happened on this block, Abuela was there, there, again, there. Watch it because the R, the tongue goes back when we do R. This is, this is why we need to watch the R's with an American accent because the tongue R flips back and cuts the air, cuts the airflow. Obviously, if that's our normal accent, we're used to that and we can carry it through and it makes no difference. But for those of us that don't do that, don't have our voices fall into that natural speaking way, it, it can trip us up, it can, um, it really can. And like I said, I've seen it so many times. So just, just be mindful of it. You've got to get it in there because that's the accent, that's the character of the piece. All these people are from the Heights of New York, Washington Heights, and you can't be singing in your very, prim your English accents or whatever accent you've got. It has to be, has to be American. So try and do it. Try and lower your tongue. Instead, instead of going there, there, there. Do you see? So it's very, very subtle. It's lowering of the tongue. Our tongues are our worst enemy when it comes to singing because they are huge. Look at that. All of that there is our tongue. All of that, that big, huge thing there. So it comes from right down here, right down here, all the way back here, and all the way up, 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 to our teeth. That is our horrible tongue. And yes, it's it's great for speaking because it means that we can form words. It's great for taste. It means we can taste our favorite things. But when it comes to singing, it's really, really annoying. It's really pesky. It's something that we've very, very much got to pay attention to. We don't want it too far back. We don't want it too far forward. Like Goldilocks, we want it just right. And it takes practice and a lot of practice, really, with the tongue. It's a really annoying beast. So yeah, instead of going there, 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 there. There, it's a slight rounding of the R, there, 
there. This video is going to be me just going there, 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 there. But it's something that you should do as well. Just literally just stand there. There, there. If you're driving your car, there, there, there. If you're playing the piano, there, there, there. Be cooking, there, there. Be at your desk and work, there, there. What, what did you say? Keep practicing. Stare at the paper and tell me, let's review, review, ew, ew, review, let's review. And then, so the everything, everything you know, no. Every, e. again, the R is further forward. I would normally go every. Every, every, forward but flat. Everything you know, no, no. That's the vowel that we just did earlier. Everything you know. In this album, there's a picture, picture, again, another R. All these R's, all these R's. Dream of endless summer, summer. Star beside my name. Picture of my parents. Left for California. See, it's just, it's the R. The key to an American accent is the R. Yeah, have fun practicing that R. As I said, just, if there's one thing you think about, it's doing the R, but flattening it and bringing that tongue forward and flat to get through it really quickly and not let it break the sound. That's the biggest thing. The other thing I wanted to talk about is also the phrasing because it's very, very bitter. You've got this lovely, lovely lilting accompaniment, which drives it through. But when it comes to the words, you're like, in this album, there's a picture of the ladies at Daniela's. Okay, it's very blocky. It's not easy because you've got to continue singing through the pauses, through the breaks. You don't go, in this album, there's a picture. The ladies at Daniela's. No. In this album, there's a picture. The ladies at Daniela's. Sing, imagine, yes, okay, these lines, these lines, they finish. There's a, there's a, there's, there, there are commas. They, they kind of, there are, they are breaks, but you need to keep that drive. Keep it going. It's little things like not taking a breath at the end of every sentence, at the end of every section. Keep that kind of thinking. If you are performing this song on stage, keep your audience's attention. Don't lose them. And just see it as one big massive phrase you know that when you're looking at piano music if you haven't seen piano music go get some any you can google piano music and you see the big brackets the phrase marks that cover all of these many 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 notes they are kind of the sentences i suppose in music and in this you want to think of these lines as one big, huge, giant phrase, one big, huge sentence that you are going to keep driving through. And for me, the phrases are, in this album, there's a picture of the ladies at Daniela's. You can tell it's from the 80s by the volume of their hair. There's Uznavi, just a baby, 87 Halloween. If it happened on this block, Abuelo was there, okay? Those, to me, are the phrases. And even though there are breaks between those lines, we're going to keep it driving, keep it going. In this album, there's a picture of the ladies at Daniela's. You can tell it's from the 80s by the volume of their hair. This was Davi, just a baby. 87 Halloween. If it happened on the block, Abuelo was there. It's very, very difficult, but yes, something to practice, something to be mindful of. Keep those lovely long phrases going. Keep the attention for the full phrase. And then the big boomy belty bit, which is incredibly dramatic and kind of goes from zero to 10 in just a bar, but hey, that's the way it's written. So we start off really, really quiet and gentle. In this folder, there's a picture, of my high school graduation. So lots of lovely over breathy, breathy tones with a program and condition, a star beside my name. 
and then we get the power. Now, to get the power, to get our belty, boomy sound, we lean into all of our lovely abdominal muscles and you can kind of maybe push down, push down on your knees or push down on a piano. I'm gonna turn it off so that I don't make a sound, but something to kind of get you up to those notes because we do not want to be reaching, we want the power, but we don't want to be reaching and straining. We just want to sail up there. This song, the way that Mandy Gonzalez sings it, she goes really kind of throaty and almost guttural too. So what she's doing, she's, she's, she's opening up and she's really kind of pushing through the sound. But she's also going some kind of yawny, slightly yawny, yawny space. She's lowered her larynx a little bit as well. And you can get that just by going, oh, hello. Just by doing that pre-yawn, that pre-yawny space, lowers it down and gets it into a, a more guttural, throaty, interesting, interesting, nice color, nice color that will, yeah, that's good there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, she saved everything we gave her. So what we're gonna do is we're going to look at these vowels and we're going to manipulate these vowels to help us. And we're gonna go, she saved everything she, we, she saved everything we gave her. Every little scrap of paper and our lives, it's very ah, uh, very open, are in these boxes while the woman who held us is gone. But we go on. We grow so, very important, keep growing so, the same vowel sound. We grow so, go more of a grow so. Grow so, grow so. Hold tight, abuela. If you're up there, I'll make you proud of everything I know. That was weird, wasn't it? Singing's weird, singing is weird. Saved everything we gave her, every little scrap of paper and our lives are in these boxes while the woman who held us is gone. But we go on, we grow so tight, abuela. If you're up there, I'll make you proud of everything I know. And then the lovely end. Thank you for everything I know. Lovely color, make it nice and breathy. All about color, this song. This song's just emotional. If you lose it, if the belt goes or anything like that, just style it out with some emotion, cry it out and make it really, really, Part of the act, you know, it's a really cool, cool song. Really way good to do that. That doesn't make any sense at all. But yeah, just start out with emotion. So there we go. I hope that has made things a bit easier for you in terms of singing everything I know. And hey, it's grade seven, not too shabby. So well done you. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to do the YouTube-y things. Like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you would like me to cover next. And I will sing with you soon. Bye! Bing.